journalism with there's a guy before me I'm, I'm not going to name him because he's a streamer although Jay did leave a very snappy comment <laughs> on one of his videos you can see him in the guy's video if you do have to track it down he got um, 22 let's go 22 most of the people on the scoreboard, I did see some that have gotten his triple figures. I think there were two of them at 150. Two of them for them one at like 123, I think it was. Something like that. But most of them were around 40 to 50. I came on, just had a bit of fun with it. <laughs> got 210. I was pretty chuffed with that. Jay, on the other hand, he got on it. And he only got he only got three more than me. See, I got what? two 110. He got two 103. So it's only three more than me. <laughs> uh, we were there right up until closing time. It was like, what, an hour and a half, an hour and 40 I was playing that run? Got an hour easy. You know? <laughs> we were put, placing bets on exactly how many kills he'd gotten, and we were all way out. Unfortunately, there are no customizable keen bindings at the moment. One of the devs did guess over two thousand. They guessed something like two and a half thousand. No, they both guessed around a thousand. One of them some, said a thousand. One of them said like one thousand. I heard someone nearby guessed like two and a half thousand. I don't know. Like Might have just been someone who stopped for a minute. May have been. Yeah, we were really impressed with this. I could do a turn in the sensitivity up a little bit, but I don't think you can yet. It's still quite early in development, so you know. This is the de this is the map we played at the expo. Yeah, they did um, customize it a little bit in a, an online mode, so that they'd set the respawns at different times and the number of the number of waves was at 30. thirty. But we thought we'd just go with the default to. Uh, I might on my run. I might change it up so that we get an upgrade every wave, just so people can see yeah. all the guns. We'll see how we get on with it. Yeah, you might get them all at the end of uh, the default 15 waves anyway, but mm. depending on what upgrade you choose as well. They might, if they, I know that on, um, they said they were going to have it every five waves, but for the, the demo they were doing it every two so that people could have a proper look at it. One of the things I like is you get your ammo here, or you can upgrade it later, and you have a medical wing here to come back and get health. This part of the base doesn't do anything yet. Um, but it does look kind of cool. It was a good place to get caught and murder the late game, though. Yeah. You can destroy the door yourself as well. There doesn't seem to be any real disadvantage to having the door destroyed. It's not like you instantly lose. It's just they can get in there and get at you while you're trying to heal. So staying outside can be useful. Um, but it, it, also, if you get enough of the armor upgrades, you can sort of get in there and maybe tank them long enough for the the heel to fire off it fires off every five seconds yeah especially with a rail gun that was killing killing the monster shot. yeah that was several upgrades in them it was the final weapon upgrade so also yeah. you repeatedly <laughs> shot the door and broke it it was one shotting the door as well as the uh yeah. i also managed to glitch it so that i ended up inside the door when i repaired it once <laughs> had to blow it up oh, wait, oh you're out of bullets. Damn it, i'm out of bullets Run away. One's inside the base. Run away! <laughs> Chasing you. Yep. Get away! Get away from me! Oh, so, okay. so basically, their idea behind this is it's one of those games where you shoot at everything until it dies. That's the feeling they were going for, and they've definitely nailed that feeling of just shooting everything in front of you until none of it's left. Right, I'm gonna kill one of these little guys. Oh, and uh, one more of them powerful was, enemies too. Yeah, up. one of them's just given up. One of them's just given up. They get more powerful enemies as the waves increase as well. Those three enemy types we saw. So there was the little yeah. ant looking things. Those bigger ant looking things. And then even bigger ant looking ant things. Looking things. <laughs> right, the story is it's on the moon. The moon's now become a, a viable source of like moon dust. materials and stuff. Just not. And when you get there, these weird aliens come out and they, they're going to have a single player campaign, which is about figuring out why we haven't seen them, how they've survived. The backstory was really interesting, actually. They said that the reason they glow that green is because inside them is a mixture of chloroform and, as, as the, the dev put it, some other chemical that I really need to read more about. <laughs> so I was like, well then. If he's going with bugs, I'd guess it's something like luciferin that makes fireflies glow. And he was saying that the reason we see them is that's just where the thinnest skin is. Skin. Thinnest. Skin, skin is thinnest. Skin is thinnest. They will be weak points once the game gets going properly. What as well. you just saw there as well was the end of wave upgrade menu. Mm. You have the weapon upgrade, armor upgrade, turret upgrade, and walls. Speaking of turrets, I they got now one have of them. them. There they are. Um, they actually deliberately made those turrets a bit OP, 
so that you know if you grab them you can have a nice easy wave just after it i mean i the first time i did it i got them i think like wave five i think that was the, the second one i got the the turrets and the walls so for wave five that it just took care of itself which was nice I they just stood, sort of stood out of the background and let them all die. They do very quickly get overwhelmed in the lighter waves, though. Yeah, but they do. If you actually step forwards and help the turrets out a little bit, mm -hmm. you can kill most of the things coming from one direction before they get overwhelmed. You can also use the turrets to... Um, if you get a lot of them, you can run towards the turrets and lead them back towards it, which is nice. <coughs> I like the door has several levels of repair as well, yeah. so you can... Like, grab a quick repair, go get some ammo, and come back out. They've also fixed some of the bugs that we found whilst we were playing it. There was one where the that the big red hit marker on the side of the screen would get locked in place, so it'd always be there. Uh, Jay managed to break the... Um, the tier 5 armor, like the shatter on the entire screen, yeah. the shatter effect of the glass. So, they I fixed played, that as well. I played it was like that for a good hour of my demo. Mm. <laughs> So they said they fixed them. I think they said they fixed the one where you got launched into the air as well. Um, yeah, he was talking about raising the invisible wall in the med room so you couldn't glitch on top of the stuff mm. in there. You used which that I kept times. doing. It was that fan in the corner. I, I got behind that, didn't I? And glitched up into the air. Yeah. <laughs> it was die, cheap. Die, die, die. It was cheap, and I actually asked him if he wasn't going to count my score because of it because I knew I was being cheap by yeah. doing it. Uh, but he was yeah, pretty cool well, about it and he kept my score on the board right, so I get the wall and more automation this time you'll see what I mean about how I won't need to do anything <laughs> now I can just stand here and let the, the, uh, the turrets take care of it for me he did also mention that they will attack the turrets and after they've been damaged they'll only fire at half DPS so in the final game you're going to be able to repair them plus um, yeah, they repair at the beginning of each round you do also next time we get an upgrade I'll show the dropship coming in there it is now It'll leave in a minute. He said he'd fix nine bugs. I wonder if right. he'd uh, added lighting to the inside of. Okay. There we yeah, go. there we go. I wonder if he added lighting to the inside of the um, level three walls. You know, the ones with the big towers yeah. that you can climb. We'll soon find out. They did also mention that they're going to have a glory kill type thing in it, where you, even Stop. if you have no ammo, you just like stand on them and just shoot the shit yeah. out of them. You will be taking damage whilst you're doing that. So I asked him, what's the incentive for it? And said, because it looks cool. <laughs> I was like, that was a brilliant answer. Yes. I don't like the idea of taking damage while doing it, but... He did say that you probably also, if you're playing it in, the, in, gr in a group, you get extra EXP and stuff. I see. The turrets just took care of that entire wave farming. <laughs> we will start <laughs> seeing awesome. the bigger ones now, though. Uh, as far as the gun upgrade, each time you get it increases your ammo count. Not Well, not every single time. It does, some, it does increase your ammo count and give you a different weapon as well. Yeah, and I really like the real gun. You can change between them after you've unlocked them, or at least between two you of them. You go back to the ammo dispenser yeah. and press e uh, use, and it'll swap cycle between them. Although it wasn't working. There we go, the bigger ones now. These it are wasn't the ones working that, at the demo. These are the ones that prioritize coming for the player rather yeah. than the door. So it's good to try and get a few of them it's, as they approach. It's this point where you've really got to start looking at your radar and making mm. sure none of them are sneaking in from the flank. Did that one just die? It did, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah, your turrets are murdering those ones. Yeah, they are. He did say he wanted them to uh, be, you know, if you get the automation built up, it's, it's a good way of you getting a bit of breathing space for a round or two. There we go, we just sniffed them. So, <laughs> speaking of turrets, the wall of me again. Excuse me for that. I do have a rather large energy drink that I've been chugging. Yeah. <laughs> Should probably stop with that. Mm. Oh, it's, it's making me rather gassy. I really enjoyed this, though. Oh, here we go. There it is, coming into land. Quite blatantly the USMC dropship there. The bugs, you're right, yes, they do look a hell of a lot like the bugs from Clendathu. That's totally a coincidence, of course. <laughs> You've got ammo on the what, level 2 wall yeah, now as well, which walls. is cool. You start getting these, so you don't need to go back inside. And at the level 3 one, you get one on either side even more, which is nice. Yeah, if you get caught outside, like forcing to just backpedal away from the bugs, for example, you can now get ammo outside, Yeah, which is nice. Although yeah, we're kind of at the stage where you're not rubbish. really running out of ammo anymore. Yeah, because uh, those turrets make a massive difference. See, some of them are actually going there to attack the turret now. Even these ones that are prioritizing the player, they don't only attack the player. You might need that. Damn. Oh, 
Oh, oh it man. got you. Yeah. That's what you get for being cocky. All right. You're up. Sure, Oliver. Run. Sorry about that. And yes, my PC is called Alien Fish. <laughs> they right. used to have a. We have to uh, drop back to the menu because it crashes if you yeah. choose restart. I used to have a. Uh, my case had a little alien face on the front. It was kind of like. Do you want to try one of the other maps? Uh, yeah, we might as well let people see them. Um, it was a, it was an alien wear knockoff I had, and because I go by the name Bob Fish, I just changed it to Alien Fish, <laughs> and just never got around to changing it. So I upgraded from Windows Seven rather than doing a fresh install of Windows Ten. I did have to fiddle with it at one point because the the install broke, but I did a Windows reset, and that actually worked worked really well and kept all of my most of my stuff that was installed because I don't install everything to the C drive. So that was really nice, uh -huh. even though it told me it was going to remove them all. It just removed the DLLs right. and Steam was fine. It the just added them itself. Sensitivity is miles off of what I'm used to. Yeah, so it's way uh, too low, isn't that? There's no way to change it though in the settings at the moment. They do have an option for customizing your keybinds, but it doesn't work yet. We tried it and it just broke. I'm not the shit at the game, just for everybody wondering. Well, yeah, you got 2,103. It's on <laughs> their. Um, it's on the First Impact Games Facebook page if you want to check it. Oh, that reminds me. I didn't message to them. The sense of it they had at the show was actually really close to what I use at home. Well, they had a mouse with what, about 15,000 sensitivity settings that you could change. I, I ramped it up to the maximum and just went with that because it, it turned out to be really close to what I use at home. Uh, so I was just spinning around like picking them off one bullet at once. Yeah, I like a lot of um, sensitivity as well. This is close but it's just far enough off that mm. I'm struggling aiming I know the feeling it's a bit low for me as well then again you still complain that mine's <laughs> a, bit, a bit funky it's the different it's maxed out it's the different mouse shape for me as well because yeah. you obviously get used to your own mouse yeah there's that I really like that mouse personally funny got it for me it's a nice mouse it's comfy to hold it's very nice very very nice oh They've changed the speed of the aliens. They can get you when you're backpedaling now. Yes. They saw a lot of people using, exploiting that to run away. Like me. Yeah. <laughs> Where I mean, nothing but like still, 10 waves of backpedaling. You can still run away enough to um, not insta-die, but it's not quite as easy. The little ones and the biggest ones couldn't catch you when you were backpedaling in the previous build. Mm. Uh, so you were just... So long as you dealt with the ones that prioritised the player, you were essentially invincible if you didn't get cornered. Uh, so it's nice to see that having been changed. Oh, he's trying to get in. Hello? Let's disabuse him of the notion, shall we? I need more bullets. That was my last handful of rounds. You'll be getting your first upgrade. Yep. Oh, you just got him. Yeah, you seem to like your um, weapons, so you'll show on them. How yeah. many kills did I get on that? I mean, it's about what, wave uh, six, was it? Something like, yeah, you got a good 70 odd kills before you went down. I can live with that. Not it's as good as my uh, score at the expo, but good enough. Good enough to show that I'm not, uh, that I'm capable of getting over the, the second jump in Cuphead. <laughs> that guy's never living that down, is no, he? No, he's not. I'm liking the. Uh, varied terrain in these maps as well. Like the other one had the bumps that limited your vision. The aliens could burrow as well. Did you see that when you played? I think I did, but I didn't notice it pro properly. Yeah, sometimes these little door, di door prioritizing ones will burrow mm. and pop out in a different position. Cheek. So, my turret damaged my own door. Well then. He sprayed the bug attacking it and damaged the door. Probably a good idea to get the wall at the same time then. Stops it from doing that. Right, sent the, the devs a message just letting them know we're streaming. Also told them a ten of the YouTube link once it's done. Yeah, good idea. Yeah, these guys are really cool and friendly. Yeah, they were young as well. One of the, the, the lead guy said he was like a first year uni student or something. Yeah, so Probably about 19. Oh, my turret shot me. Cheeky bugger. They're shooting me, look. The Cause they're going for the ones behind you. Yeah. Okay, yeah, lesson one. Don't stand. No! Whoa! Whoa! Stop pausing the turret! Five. <laughs> Come on, that wasn't on! Well then. That's new. They weren't doing that in the demo build we mm. played. Yeah, yeah they, they could have the gun. <laughs> yeah. 
they they said they also wanted to add in other uh, rather than this swarm type survival mode one way you have to go out and complete objectives in the world don't stand inside the door good point oh it's cancelled the repair don't want to get trapped in it again now's a good time to do it as well there's like one guy up on <laughs> yeah just i love the way the guns move around it gives you that idea of being frantic and you're know, wanting to just run and shoot things yeah, it's a little bit distracting, but not impossible. It does set so. the mood to keep yeah. you wanting to get stuck in. Um, the magazine count on the guns isn't right at the moment either. Is it not? Uh, oh, no, the these are, yeah, the yeah, magazine yeah, the, count. I get what you mean. The upgraded guns have more ammo in the count in the magazine than that shows. Yeah, I remember one of them. You were firing for ages, and it just wasn't going down. Oh, it just oh, fell down. That's all. Well then, it may have run up near the um, just close enough for the. To pick, to pick it off. Yeah. We're about to see a new gun now, I think. Here we go. I think this is the LMG. Next upgrade should be the railgun if this is the LMG. I really don't remember it that well, I was too busy shooting. Everything goes silent as concentration kicks in. <laughs> Don't know if that is the LMG actually. No, I think the LMG fired yellow, did it? it seems that way, yeah. I'm a bit worried about standing between the turrets and the bugs. Mm. It does have a massive magazine though, so. Whoa! Yeah, well, it only had like. I sorry, Donna, did you go and pick up the. Uh, did you want to refill your ammo? It started with about 300 rounds. Did you actually go in and refill yeah. after you'd collected it? Yeah, not about 300 right. rounds. Fair enough. That's the same as the previous level then? So no, I don't think it was the LMG. I remember the LMG having like 600. Right. Yes. Not like 300. Yeah, you'll be getting it soon now. Should be this way, actually. I should be able to get the LMG. Yep. It's a bit... Odd that the um, the med lab repairs your suit, but <laughs> yeah. you know you need some kind of visual representation of the fact that you've taken damage. This is also another thing I was doing was letting them in a couple at a time. A lot of people were doing that because um, when they're at the door, several of them will just prioritize the door even after it's open, so you can pick off a few quite easily. These ones that prioritize the flyer seem to like rushing through while the little ones yeah. stay outside. And even that, when there are a whole bunch of the little ones, I've made use of that. Some of them will just continue attacking the door, even though the door's open. Back so you can kill a f they kill the few that come in and get a couple of the others whilst you're at it. Yeah, I blew my door up. Well, you got your next upgrade at least. Now we're getting the LMG. But you are. <laughs> uh, screw the door, I'll get some help and ammo instead. It's good to remember this is still an in-development game, so there are still a few kinks. Yeah, that 800, that's out. the LMG. Yes. Yeah, there we go. That's the one. Next level's the railgun, which fires a one-hit kill explosive shot. Yep, which, which is amazing. Which will also kill your door in one shot, as you found <laughs> out several times. <laughs> <laughs> I was really impressed with this. I'm not into this swarm mode stuff. No, I at hate all. hard mods. But the gameplay was engaging enough that it was just fun to play. That's definitely the LMG. It's the fact that it's just... It really does have that sensation of just being a ha massive swarm of enemies and you just pull the trigger until they go away. <laughs> and yeah, they nailed it. And it looks great too. But it's Unreal, so it's fairly easy to get a great looking game in Unreal. Uh, well, the new Unreal does like all the lighting stuff for you and mm. it's a lot more user friendly for the developers yeah. to get something good looking quickly. And Ow. that's evidence by the fact ass. that the two guys were early 20s and the very oldest and they still managed to put this together downside so shows you how easy it is big downside to the LMG just showing off there it's 6 second reload yeah I mean that's not to, imp to imply in any way that making a game is easier or that you know you can't do it because of your age it's just that it does help demonstrate just how easy it actually is now with Unreal that a first year student can still pull off something yeah. this smooth and this clean did they say they were working on it part-time, or was that someone else? Um, 
Yeah. But they're probably, to be fair, I've like, lost them now, probably working on it part time. So I mean, they're students, so yeah, they're obviously true. not doing this full, full time. But still. From the sounds of it, they were one of the. They didn't add nothing actually specified the, the amount of time they spent working on it. I think they said it was about six months mm -hmm. that they'd been working on actually making it. So. Yeah. I don't know if that was six months part time or six months full time. That was what I meant, but. Um, I hey, know. you already got full ammo again. Uh, it hasn't reloaded, that's why. Ah, uh, gotcha. Yeah, it's got like a 200 round mag in this thing, because mm -hmm. that just went from 800 to. I was worried they were behind me then. I did get the feeling, really though, that of all the people there, these were one of the ones that were spent, that were dedicating the most amount of time to it. Several of them were people that were at work and doing stuff in their spare time. Uh, like the guy who did Glow, he's, full, he's in full-time employment and he was just sort of making it in his spare time. Let's have some more turrets. Though he did specify that he got a lot of time available at the job he was at, so he's like, why not? These lads were really fun to talk to. They were actually You could tell that unlike some indie developers, they were definitely in it for the love of gaming, not thinking it was an easy way to make money. Down from 800 rounds in a 200 round magazine to 90 <laughs> rounds in a 40 but round magazine. It's one shot per kill, so unfortunately, I'm on, up for it. Unfortunately, I'm not on a uh, mouse I'm good with. So. You've, done, you've done fine so far. I'm starting to get far. a feel for it, so. And you do have those level 2 turrets now that'll shred most things. Boom, boom, boom. They've lowered the refire rate slightly. Right. I was <laughs> probably because you were leathering it so much. It's your fault for being so good. They do seem to have actually made changes based on that one playthrough. Well, they were taking notes, definitely. I mean, it's the first time they've really properly shown it to people, and I, um,. I was having a look through their Facebook page, they did point out that they have it on Steam, but it was only available for the developers. Yeah. Um, so, we're pretty much getting an exclusive look at this. I don't know if we're the only people who've got it, but... Uh, no, um, I, I'm not sure they'd have made those bug fixes so quickly just for us, but... Mm. I mean, the game obviously needed the fixes that they worked on anyway, yeah. otherwise they wouldn't have done them. Oh, they were actually dead. That was a waste <laughs> of a shot. Oh well. You can adjust the amount of enemies that come up per wave as well. The default is an extra 10 per wave, so it's 10, 20, 30, 40, and so on. But I noticed that if you go to uh, host a match, um, you can set it to uh, like a million per wave. You can also set the amount of um, waves you have to do before you get uh, yep. an upgrade. At the expo, they were doing it 30. I don't think they expected anybody to get that far. <laughs> and you got to wave 29 and only died because they asked you to. Yeah, they were worried my score wouldn't show up if we went to wave 30. They thought it might glitch. That um, was their excuse, anyway. <laughs> I, I think they just wanted some extra room for someone to beat me on the next day. <laughs> they wanted the possibility of somebody getting better, better than you. It didn't happen, though. In fact, the scoreboard didn't change. We saw that once it, uh, I, well, I saw that once it uploaded it, the scoreboard just did not change. We were still the two type scorers. I did feel a little bad for the guy at the bottom of the scoreboard that I pushed off, but... Mm, well, I pushed somebody off as well, he did only have a score of 18 though. Know. So it's to be expected. I really enjoyed the game. Yeah, I, I hate hard modes, and I've actually enjoyed this one, so... It's because it's so trimmed down to the, the basics of what you want in a first-person shooter. First-person shooting, that's pretty much it. I'm more, in, at this point, like, for a game I'd buy, I think I'm more interested in the story mode and definitely. the exploration mode they were talking about. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I'm not sure I'd ever play this on my own. No, in but he's the, going to have four-player co-op, so I'm sure we'll jump in a couple of times along the way. I forgot to ask him if the story would be co-op, actually. Uh, that would be nice. You are supposed to be a four-man team, so it might well be a full co-op story. Uh, tell you what we'll do. At the end of the stream, we'll send him an email. Yeah. And um, we will have be doing an opinion, like a sort of an experience piece mm -hmm. uh, that we're writing up for the website. Okay, uh, about Play Expo. So um, if these guys are replying quite quickly to us, it took them about an hour to... Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I've glitched. Into the wall. I am a genius. <laughs> Finding more ways into <laughs> holes in the walls. 
Right, run away, run away. Oh, they're gonna get me. No. I don't know where the door is to get back in. <laughs> it's somewhere. <laughs> you're out of ammo as well. You're gonna have to. Oh, bollocks. You're gonna have to make a dash it, for it. It's now. on the opposite side of those stairs. I know that. If right. I go around and up, it's like on the next wall around. Should be, yeah. Oh, no, they're eating my ass. <laughs> Pow, right in the pooper. They've def- Oh, no one's followed me in. Damn oh, you. No. Damn you. Give me health. Help. Help. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, no. 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 That was close. <laughs> See if the uh, weapon shifting the switching works now. I kind of don't want to in case it glitches and gives me a rubbish gun again. Because mm. I'm doing so well. Yeah, I can see your point. I stand a chance of finishing this as it is. They, they, there's a roof section to this that they seem to be able to get on as well. Yeah, it's why the dropship lands. It was blocked off on the other map. It had like a gate across the dropship area. And you couldn't go up there. There's one up there now. I'll have a walk. It looks stuck, so I'm going to risk walking past it and have a look up there. Hey, you can't can get onto the bit with the actual dropship. Yeah, that's what was. At, this is what was at the edge of the roof on the other map. Right. So you couldn't go up there, but this one actually has a roof, which is kind of cool. Bit of incentive to keep the low walls actually, because you can shoot over them and pick them off. Mm, good point. We are having a slight problem though. That's what our stream looks like on the app. Oh. Yeah. Beautiful. We are definitely streaming. Yeah. Yeah, definitely streaming. <laughs> hmm. Um, we'll stop after this run just in case it isn't. Yeah. Uh, if it is, we'll restart and we'll play another map or two. Sounds good. Um, we just don't want to record a bunch of stuff. Yeah, it's just not black sure screen. what's going on with it. I suspect it's just the average glitch, personally, but... Quite possibly. Those big ones are prioritising the turret. Interesting. Very interesting. Interesting. Yeah, the little ones were ignoring it and running after me, but... Big fella, they're going for that for it first. Then. They've lowered the ammo count on the. Um, we had about 200 rounds in the railgun in the play demo as well. Because mm. I, I remember getting to about wave 20 and saying, This is about the point I'm going to have more bugs than enemies. Yeah. Um, but now I've only got 90 rounds. More bugs than enemies? Yeah, uh, more bugs than ammo, sorry. No. Um, yeah, and now we've definitely got more bugs than ammo. Yes, yes, we definitely. Uh, so they've done a lot of balancing since I ruined it. So it seems. <laughs> so it would seem. I've ruined it for everyone. Hmm. What's going on with this? The stream's not showing what's on the... Uh, the stream's definitely yeah. recording. Uh, yeah, it's definitely encoded showing from our stream. end. It's definitely showing it streaming. It's showing us, on, us online. But all I get is a black screen. Curious. I suspect the app's just glitched. Probably. I just uh, hopped in to check because I realised that I'd actually hidden the um, I'd hidden the chat window behind the box somehow. So I just wanted to see if anybody if the the devs had. Travis in the up. actual website off your phone. Worth a shot. I was trying my phone as well. If you want to try a different browser. Oh, they've got a taste for meat now. Tasty thing, dude. Do they think it tastes like bacon? Bacon tasting. Nom, 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 nom. Oh, I ducked back through my door by accident. Oh, well. <laughs> I almost destroyed the door as well. Take the opportunity whilst you have it. That's something I would like them to change, for the door to trigger when you move towards it when you're quite mm. close up, so you don't have to back off a lot. Yeah, it does seem to glitch a little bit when you get too close to it. I imagine that sort of thing is oddly difficult to do because of the, de the uh, detection ranges or whatever you want to call them. I've got a feeling they've got a pad on the floor to open, like a trigger hidden on the floor to open okay. it. Um, and it's a little bit further back from the door. It also only seems to be moving in one direction, which is good, but... It does mean we have to back off quite a lot to get the door open again. Although that is... Oh no, I got... Oh, 
Twitch is now saying we're offline. GG Twitch. GG. So we're definitely going to have to re-record. So it would seem. Shall we just quit this? Yeah, we'll, we'll call it here. We'll have a look, quick look, see if it's working. If it is, well, we'll just come back as we were. If not, we'll be starting again. And it doesn't, make, it doesn't matter what I've just said. So, yeah, we'll see you all again shortly.